Governor, good to have you on, sir. Um, I just want to get your top line. You've been through a lot of debates. You've performed well in them. Uh, what happened last night? You saw the difference between a person who went into the debate prepared, knowing what he believed and believing what he knew, versus a person who had been hiding from the press, hiding from questions. What we saw last night was J.D. Vance really delivering one of the great performances of a debate I've seen. His calmness, his sense of serenity about the whole process was just amazing. It was pitch perfect. And it's exactly what was needed for this ticket. What Amanda said a moment ago about uh, Donald Trump's performance, sometimes it can be uneven in a setting like that. He lets his emotions maybe overwhelm his sense of perspective. But J.D. Vance was precise and he was succinct in everything that he said, very measured, but he didn't come across as overly performing. It was just simply from the heart. He just spoke with clarity. Uh, it was, I thought, absolutely one of the best debate performances, maybe the best ever. Now contrast that with Tim Walls, who honestly looked like he had rather be having a colonoscopy than he had been <laughs> standing on that stage, especially in the first few moments. And when they tried to nail him on this whole idea that he was in China during Tiananmen Square, you could see the flop sweat break out. But I think a bigger perspective of this was that Tim Walls has been hiding from the press, not answering questions. J.D. takes every question thrown at him. So here's what that means on the debate stage. Tim Walls has been flying in simulators. J.D. was flying in F-13s in the actual formation. Total difference when it comes to walking out on that stage. If you're used to having questions, if you're used to being peppered with stuff versus being in the laboratory and not really having the danger and the risk of flying. One other quick observation, okay. they had the mute button that CBS bragged about having. I'll tell you what they should have done with it is muted Nora and Margaret. Okay. They were awful. I didn't think it could get worse than David Moore and Lindsay, what's her name? They proved that, yep, hold my beer and watch this. We're going to make a mess of this. And they, by <laughs> gosh, did.